this morning as we celebrate formally uh, our second year in a row of being named one of the 100 best communities for young people in the United States. I'm extraordinarily proud of that. I'm extraordinarily proud of the, the people who day after day uh, contribute to the factors that lead us to this great award. Uh, Missoula is a great place for young folks and, and it's all because of older folks, unfortunately, <laughs> who try to, try to make things happen on behalf of youth. Um, I actually just graduated from high school about three years ago, so I'm still youth. So thank you for serving me, if you don't. Um, we have five topics, uh, actually five categories, um, which contribute to our being named one of the 100 best communities. And you'll hear from some other speakers this morning about um, those categories and how Missoula uh, works every day again uh, to meet uh, the criteria that make this a great place for kids. Uh, my topic happens to be caring adults who um, are involved in young people's lives. I have the privilege, ladies and gentlemen, of serving on the um, Friends of Flagship Board. Flagship is a program uh, of after school activities that we operate in the public schools. Uh, and we do that all throughout the school year and in the summer. Um, and, and in most cases, we're providing any kid who wants to participate uh, a safe, uh, productive, um, and I think meaningful place to be when the school day ends. Um, in facilities that are in place already, uh, that board is uh, made up of lots of really smart adults who are very engaged in kids and we were volunteering their time to raise money to make sure um, those programs stay afloat. It's a fantastic program, it's really well for kids. Uh, I'm very proud of it. I'm also very proud of the young adults, our youth development uh, coordinators. Um, Lisa Miscavich is here. She lords over many of these young adults and is a young adult herself um, who's producing young people. So it's all good. I mean, it's, just, it's really a circle of life we've got going. Um, but, but these, are, these are young folks who are really engaged um, in the lives of other young folks. And it's just a fantastic program. Just one of the many pieces of the puzzle, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, other folks are here to talk about some of these other areas of Missoula's expertise. Um, without further ado, uh, I'm always privileged to introduce a fellow politician, uh, especially when that politician goes after me. Uh, this morning, County Commissioner Gene Curtis, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, we are excited to have uh, America's Promise again recognize our community as a great place to raise our children and youth, and it's because of people like you. Uh, Missoula is often portrayed as arguing about most anything. When it comes to kids, we uh, come together. And I think we kind of model the African uh, proverb, it takes a village, because we think these are all our kids. So I want to give you a few statistics about the health of the other promise about uh, a healthy community. It's noteworthy that uh, Missoula County has 92% of our children are immunized, immuni uh, have their immunizations. <laughs> 1,049 children are enrolled in the CHIP program. Uh, 1,463 children are receiving subsidized child care facilities that are part of the USAPA food program. Last year, our health department visited over 1,000 infants and children in their homes to help their uh, parents childproof their homes, answer questions that they may have about parenting, and talk about how to help their children grow up healthy and happy. The health department also saw 364 pregnant women to provide them with information on how to keep themselves and their unborn children healthy and, if necessary, help them find a doctor and other needed services. The WIC program, which is Women, and Infants, Women Infants, and Children, serves over 3,600 individuals and 2,700 families. More than half of those children were born in Missoula County. And they made referrals to over 200 local agencies, and they provide $600 to $900 worth of nutritious foods to those families. Partnership Health Center, which we want to make sure you 
understand, is a family center, not just a program for adults, has served 929 children 15 years or younger. Services include dental health, prescriptions, case management, primary health care. We've also extended hours to help serve families better. And our Miles for Healthy Smiles program is a great program that takes dental care out to the schools that some children have never seen a dentist. Last summer, through its Kids Cafe, the food bank served over 7,200 breakfasts and lunch, lunches to homeless children and children who qualify for the free or reduced lunch programs. Sometimes that's the best meal kids get, and it's important to um, offer that in the summer when the school's not in session. I had the opportunity to go to Washington, D.C. when we received the award in 2005, and that was the one thing that uh, the speaker who had read all of these applications mentioned about the zoo that she thought was unique was that we still think kids need to eat in the summer. That's not all. We also have the Move More program, which is spearheaded by the health department. It's begun safe routes to school so kids can feel safe walking and biking to school. And they've also teamed up with the police department to offer free lights to people who don't have them and are riding their bicycles or walking in the dark. Groups such as the Missoula Indian Center, Community Care, Tobacco Free Missoula, Flagship, Project Success, all work together to help keep Missoula's youth substance free. School programs such as the All Stars and Project Action help students stay healthy as well as substance free. And our school resource officers work closely with the schools to keep students safe and substance free during school hours and school events. And our Family Resource Center, of course, offers parents written materials, referrals, and activities to help them be better parents. It's not only the agencies and nonprofits that are concerned about kids, but our business community as well. Both the Community Medical Center and St. Patrick Hospital offer discounted or free lab and diagnostic services to our partnership health center patients. And coming up this week, actually Friday, Give Kids a Smile will provide free dental care to local children um, who lack a regular dentist. And there's a whole list of dentists that are participating in it. Missoula is famous for its collaborative work for young people. One of the best examples is the Forum for Children and Youth. I serve on their oversight board. Those 200 or so active members work outside of their organizations and businesses to build and maintain support of the community wide environment for kids of all ages and needs. And its membership continues to grow and works to develop resiliency in children. So that's just a snapshot of what's going on here. Um, but this is an award that Missoula won. Not any one person, it's not any one organization. This is your award. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Curtis. It turns out another way that uh, Missoula serves um, kids is uh, well, we have something called public school. Um, and here to talk a little bit about public school is Missoula County Public School Superintendent Jim Clark. Dr. Clark. Thank you, John. It's a pleasure to be associated with the school district here in Missoula. That's one of the tenets of having a, a best community for kids, one of the hundred best in the country. And our children do well. Your children have done well. Many of you, I'm not sure how many times John tried some of our classrooms, but when he only graduated a few years ago, I think he'd been through several of our classrooms. <laughs> we have a wonderful history here in uh, doing well with kids, and that's because of the community support. It's because of also because of the leadership of the building level and the teachers that care a great deal about the kids that they serve and that they teach. And this is an example for you. Uh, Gene Curtis also just mentioned uh, our free and reduced lunch status. How many of our children are on free and reduced lunch in our school district right now? That's a very significant issue for us. Uh, we have a number of our schools that are identified because of the high number of high percentage of kids that are on the free and reduced lunch program. A school that just came on that list this year, Lewis and Clark. It's very unusual for most of you who have been around Missoula for a long time to think that Lewis and Clark might have a high enough percentage of pre reduced lunch kids to be on that list. But they're there. We have another school that's just one percentage point from being identified. And I think the threshold right now is 35% of the students being identified for pre reduced lunch. 
you all know from the, new, the news recently that we're being uh, tested a lot. And one of my favorite lines about testing a lot is that the calf never gets any heavier by weighing it. We really do test our kids too much. However, that's what we're doing now. That's part of what the rules are that we have to abide by. Last spring in 2006, on the state test looking at competencies for children, the target goal was to have 74% of the children across the state proficient or advanced on that state test in reading. And in math, the goal was 51%. In our elementary district here in Missoula, the 74% was the line for proficient and advanced students. 85% of our kids were proficient or advanced in reading. And compared to that 51% goal in math, 69% of our kids were proficient or advanced in math. So I'm very proud of the work that our teachers, our staff, and our students are doing. In the high school district, compared to that 74% line, 79% were proficient in reading, and 62% were proficient in math, proficient or advanced. So I'm very proud of the work that our staff and our students are doing. Are we there? No, we have lots of work yet to do. But it's one of the things that makes this a great community is the caring that you have and that our staff has and that our students have for reaching the best they can be. And that's what I hope that we can do. Another example I'll give you, we have uh, one of our schools that right now has 47% uh, of the students identified from the free and reduced lunch staff. That's one of our middle schools. That middle school with nearly half of the children on free and reduced lunch 83% of the kids were proficient in reading or math last year, and 60% of the kids were proficient in math. It's a wonderful example of what can be done when people really work together to get that done. So I'll commit to you that we'll continue to do our best to help make this a great community, and hope that you'll commit with us to continue to support the efforts of the public schools. And I thank you so much. Thank you, John. Folks, we're meeting in a facility that I think demonstrates, uh, again, Missoula's commitment. Voters in the city of Missoula uh, have spent roughly $12 million creating this facility, our facility at Playfair Park called Splash Montana, and four uh, spray ducks, which are actually my personal favorites in Missoula parks. These are spots where folks, kids can go, they hit a button on top of a bollard and they're in utter control. They don't pay a dime and they get to splash around as much as they want. I'm unfortunately not allowed there for a number of reasons, but my understanding is it's a lot of fun. Um, that's what Missoula's Parks and Recreation Department, the city of Missoula, is engaged in, in part uh, to serve young folks. I'd like to recognize a couple of folks from the city of Missoula. Sergeant Garrett Wade is here today. You might not even be a sergeant anymore, are you? No. Lieutenant? Yes. Yeah. Lieutenant Garrett Wade, sorry. We, we promote them so quickly if they keep showing up. But uh, uh, Garrett's here. Ginny Marion is our communications officer. She's here this morning. Of course, Donna Goffler, who I'm going to introduce in a moment. And the folks from our office in planning and grants, uh, planning and grants uh, without whom uh, a lot of what we do that's good work in this community wouldn't happen. I see Melissa Gordon, I see Gina Nancy Hart, I see Mark Munson, I see Cindy Wolfpool, I see Yuri Freaky, I see. Who am I missing? There's Peggy Seal, the always silent Peggy Seal, <laughs> who toils again on behalf of kids in the community. And she's coming right up. Our director of parks and recreation, ladies and gentlemen, uh, who works with kids every day um, and is always keeping their health, fitness, recreation, and really our hope for the future in mind, Ms. Donna Dawson. because this is one of those honors that truly is about all of us because it's a number of nonprofits, citizens, kids and adults who come together and say we want something special, we want something different, and we want that from Missoula. And uh, Missoula does it better than most. We do it better than most communities in the nation. Obviously, the 100 best awards, but it's uh, we get called upon often to ask, well, how do you do it? Through the parks, through the schools, and through government. I'm here to talk a little bit about safe places. And we have a number of nonprofits in the room today uh, who provide safe places. 
a YMCA Boys and Girls Club, uh, it's countless. In fact, uh, my understanding is, is that Missoula has more nonprofits than Boston, Massachusetts. And those nonprofits are often based around better serving our citizens, particularly our youth. The mayor already mentioned some of the facilities. Just give you a little bit of an uh, insight into uh, what we've experienced with the $12 million in improvements. We were hopeful we'd receive 68,000 swims last summer in Splash, Montana for a full summer. We had about three quarters of the summer and there were 98,000 swims. That means that we have a whole lot of folks who are enjoying safe places and they're actively engaging with their neighbors, their peers, and their families. I can't tell you how many families we saw play together. Here today, I want to apologize a little bit for the noise of these healthy kids um, enjoying another safe place. Uh, Mobash Skate Park, we have the addition of the 50 meter pool, the spray decks. Again, I mentioned all of the nonprofit organizations that offer those additional safe places. And one of the things that's great about safe places is they contain staff who interact very well with children and provide them safe mentors and safe people to go to. And that's really what makes a place safe are the people who are working inside those facilities, who are keeping those facilities safe. And generally, Missoula as a whole, with its conservation lands, its parks, its wonderful schools, uh, its art museums, its libraries, we uh, have created a place in a wonderful topography with absolutely amazing natural environment as well as man-built environment that allows our families and our children to play well together and it's through play that we really get to know each other. So again, I want to say congratulations, Missoula. Uh, thank you for being there for us, for parks. It's a park and rec director's dream come true to have this kind of community to work for. And I encourage you all to visit the facility after you're done and come back often. Thank you. So as with any of these efforts, this is a community effort. We had a lot of people participating. We had some folks weighing in with letters, essays, um, and other efforts. Kelly Sykes, Jeff Lang, and Jeremy Levin all wrote letters. Kelly's here, yes? Kelly, there you are. Would you like to read your letter, Kelly?
also the South Gate Mall, the Florida Kids and Film, and Sean McLean the Arcade. There are some great pet stores in the top of the world where kids can find a furry scaly or feathery pet in their own. The Pope Mall is not just exactly in the community, but it's close where kids can find fun in the middle of the night. Just a few miles from the Pope Mall, Pope Mall is the largest pet shop in the Great Mountain Town, but the thing, where there are great summer camps and buildings. Thank you very much. 